Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to part 20 of our Ninja Platformer tutorial series. This may well be the very last video because I've covered exactly what I set out to cover when I very first started this series. There's a chance I'll do bonus videos. I see that some of you have requested some stuff, and I am taking that into consideration. But I'm also ready to move on to my next series and to... Essentially, the thing I want to do is redo the action RPG series I did, but redo it for good 04. A lot of people have been requesting that, and I think that will be a lot of fun to do. But in this video, we're going to add in bullet deflection, where a ninja can deflect the bullets and fire them back at the enemy cannons. Let's get into this. We'll go to our cannon here, or into our bullet here. And I think the easiest way to do this is to add a function that is going to reverse the bullet in some way. And so we can add a function here, call, here called reverse. And what it's going to do is, the first thing it's going to do is modify the direction. So direction equals direction dot rotated and then we want to rotate it by some angle now i want i want to use 180 but i know that rotated here uh doesn't use degrees it uses radians so we need to use degree to rad or er, rad to degree in order to convert so we'll say no degree to rad and then 180 so it'll convert 180 degrees into radians okay so we can rotate it by 180 degrees whatever direction it was going it's going to go back the direction the complete opposite direction and then we want to make some adjustments to the hitbox as well because our hitbox currently targets the player so we can say hitbox dot set collision mask value. This allows us to set the collision mask inside of code. Now the layer we want to set is going to be player hurt box, which is four. And we want to set it to false. And then we're going to copy this line because now we want it to be able to hit enemies, which is enemy hurt box, which is five. So five will be true, just like that. But we have to add a hurt box to our bullet now because it's technically taking a hit from the player sword. So let's do that. We'll add a new hurt box. And I'm just going to add a collision shape. And I'm going to use circle shrink it down so it's the same size essentially. I might make it a little bigger actually. Yeah, just to give a little bit of extra leeway when trying to hit it. Now we'll come into the hurt box and set the collision layers. We want this to exist on the enemy hurt box layer. And then inside of our code here, we wanna get access to this hurt box. And inside of the ready function, we wanna do something when it gets hit. What are we gonna do? reverse it so function or let's see hurt box dot hurt dot connect and then we're going to do another inline function it's going to take a other hit box as an as an argument to the function because the hurt will pass that in and then we can call reverse although we may have to i suspect that we'll actually have to use call deferred on reverse because it will be upset that we're setting collision layers in the same frame that it's colliding with something. I suspect that that would be the case, but let's, let's see. Got to give me time to react here. Ah, okay. Those move kind of fast. I might not be good enough to actually deal with those. I'm going to set the speed to 150 to give me a little more time because clearly I can't react to those. Okay. Then it waits so long. Okay. 
I know I hit that one. So it didn't work. We didn't even get any error messages. That makes me think that something, it, I, I'm just gonna check here by print. I'm gonna print in our hurt box, just high to make sure that we're actually getting, we're actually hitting it. So it's on layer enemy hurt box, which is the same as enemy cannon is on layer enemy hurt box. So we should be triggering that hurt state in the same way that this one is. Let's see if it prints. Okay, it did print. We did get a print. So we didn't get any error messages, but our reverse function doesn't seem to be working. Let's print our direction. And let's try calling call deferred. And just, I'm just curious if that's gonna actually work here. Ah, I missed. Five seconds is a long time when I'm this bad at the game. Okay, I'm gonna change the speed to 100, and then I'm going to reduce the timer on the enemy cannons down to three seconds so that I get more opportunities. <laughs> okay. So there, it's reversing and then reversing again. And that's because we're able to hit it with our, we're, we're able to hit it multiple times. Now we're adjusting the hit box here, but we're not adjusting the hurt box at all. So what we should do is we should say hurt box dot is invincible equals true. That way we can't hit it more than once in theory because it will be invincible once we've deflected it. Oh, nice. What? Okay, so that was cool, but also I have no idea what happened. Oh, they're not destroying themselves when they collide, they're just moving through the enemies. That makes sense. Yeah, we also want them when they when they when the bullet actually hits something, we also want it to delete itself. And the way we can do this is coming into our hitbox here. We need a hit signal. We'll add a new signal. We'll call it hit. And we could pass the hurt box out. I'm going to do that just because. And then right here, we can say hit dot emit, just like this. And then pass out hurt box. There we go. Now we're emitting out that we've been hit. And so the bullet can also take advantage of that. So. hitbox.hit.connect function, and then it's going to take a other hurt box. And then we can say Q free. That way it can't damage multiple times. It's just going to destroy itself immediately once it hits something. Ah! Okay, so kind of a cool little mini game and uh, deflect the bullets back at the enemy cannons. So that's going to be it for this series. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you appreciate this series and the work that I put into it, go check out my courses. Those are the best way to support me. Uh, I also have a free course on my website right now. If you... Uh, if you submit your email, if you sign up for my email list, you can go check that out. 
Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video.